this way. On January 6th, thousands of rioters, many coming from Trump's Save America rally, stormed the U.S. Capitol as Congress met to certify the 2020 presidential election results. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! The insurrection resulted in multiple deaths, including an officer, dozens of injuries to law enforcement and rioters, ongoing arrests, and vandalism across the Capitol. Here's how the day unfolded. That morning, thousands gathered at the Ellipse near the White House to hear the president and his allies speak. Shortly before noon, President Trump addressed the crowd. We will never give up. We will never concede. We're going to walk down to the Capitol because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. Following his speech, the crowd then marched to the U.S. Capitol building, where initially only Capitol Police were stationed. Additional MPD officers would be called to assist by 1 p.m. At 12.53, a large crowd approached approximately five Capitol Police officers standing at a fenced-off entrance near the Peace Monument. According to ABC News sources that day, many Capitol Police were armed only with mace and their sidearms. As the crowd pushed the barricades over, the police were quickly overwhelmed. In contrast to other events in D.C. last summer, additional state and federal law enforcement was not pre-staged ahead of the riot. Within minutes, protesters began swarming other entrances of the Capitol, breaking through barricades and continuing to push further toward the building. Inside, Congress began their session with Vice President Pence presiding. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote of the state of Arizona? I will vote to respect the people's decision and defend our system of government as we know it. During this time, explosive devices were reported outside the DNC and RNC headquarters. Meanwhile, rioters continued to surround the Capitol, taking photos and waving flags. One video shows rioters streaming past barricades with officers standing by. An audio message from around 2 p.m. warned congressional staffers and reporters to stay away from windows and doors. Between 2 and 2.30, rioters broke through multiple entrances and began pushing further into the building. By 2.30, rioters breached security and made their way into the Capitol through windows and doors. Crowds began pouring into the rotunda, crypt, statuary hall, and other locations. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! The chamber floor, the House recessed and told members to lock down and shelter in place. They broke the glass? Everybody stay down! Get down! Around 2.45, members of the Capitol security team barricaded the entry doors to the chamber. Congress members retrieved gas masks from underneath their seats and tear gas has been released into the rotunda. Outside the House chamber in a stairwell, protesters attempted to get into a secured hallway. One woman, Ashley Babbitt, was shot by a Capitol policeman and later died. Around 3 p.m., one video shows an officer stuck in a doorway as rioters try to push through. By now, hundreds of rioters occupied the Capitol, roamed the halls, sat at Speaker Pelosi's desk, and vandalized the building. As the insurrection continued, support from more than 18 local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies began to arrive. They tried to dispel the violence using tear gas and flashbangs to move the protesters out of the building. By mid-afternoon, many political leaders and allies of President Trump called on the president to make a statement and denounce the protest. I tried to call the president immediately, and I've tried a number of different ways to get him. I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege. At 4.17, more than two hours after the violence began, President Trump tweeted a minute-long pre-recorded video speaking directly to the protesters. You have to go home now. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. Earlier in the day, Mayor Bowser implemented a 6 p.m. curfew, and rioters now dispersed. 
By 8 p.m., senators resumed session in the Senate chamber to confirm the electoral results. Today was a dark day in the history of the United States Capitol. The violence was quelled. The Capitol is secured and the people's work continues. Congress worked through the night and at 3.39 a.m. certified Joe Biden as the 46th president of the United States. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. Purpose of the joint session having concluded, pursuant to Senate Concurrent Resolution 1, 117th Congress, the chair declares the joint session dissolved.